Hey you guys, welcome to another Celebrity Tarot reading. Today we're doing Sky Jackson. Now I know, I know she wasn't a suggestion, but look, she went viral because apparently she went to jail for beating up her, her boyfriend and apparently she's pregnant and they're engaged. Who? Now if you don't know who Sky Jackson is, she is a child star actor. Um, She was in that Band-Aid commercial. I'm stuck on Band-Aid. That's my favorite commercial. <laughs> And then she was also on his Disney Channel show, children's show called uh, Jesse, right? So I have some things I want to say. So I know y'all wondering, like, why, why are we not on the floor, bitch? Like, where the fuck is your bed in the background? Look, I'm on the bed because I'm ready to talk my shit. Once you see the camera like this, I'm ready to talk my shit. Let's get into it, right? Sky Jackson, in my opinion, is the perfect example of you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot force them to drink. Now, Sky Jackson, obviously, from my opinion, I don't think she comes from money. And it's no shade to it, you know what I mean? Because I don't come from money either, but I don't think she comes from money, meaning her mom was probably most likely working overtime to get Sky Jackson into the Hollywood scene, to break Sky Jackson into the Hollywood scene. And it was going well. I mean, she landed this show. She was on the show for multiple seasons, all the way up until the end. Her character was continuously on the show literally for all my gen z like we literally damn near grew up with her and then i realized she was older than me i used to think she was younger than me but that's because they kept replaying old shows anyways um old seasons right then when she got off that show jesse they then transferred her to a another show that was based off of jesse kind of like a special edition called bunk right i never watched that show because at that point i was grown and disney channel started to get corny for me so i i stopped watching right she was on bunk and then, no shade, but no shade. I haven't really seen Sky Jackson on anything else. I mean, I know she's been in a couple shows. Like, for example, also, when she was younger, she was in the Smurfs movie. I remember because I loved Smurfs. Y'all, Smurf was one of my favorite movie ever. And she was on the original Smurf movie, right? She was that kid in the store. She was her mom. You could tell her mom was working overtime. Basically, I'm saying this all to say that it seemed like Sky Jackson was set up for success. No shade. It seemed like her mom truly had set her on the path to success. But sometimes, again, you can't force that horse to drink water. So, no shade. I just feel like Sky Jackson, she's not as far as she could be. And I'm not sure why. Like, there's no, again, Sky Jackson's not even that popular. So, it's like, or she's not that mainstream. So, and also, I don't think she really shares much about her personal, like, personal, personal life like that. So, I don't know, y'all. Like, let me know. Do y'all ever, did she ever say why she never went on to do bigger and better things? I know she said, for example, she didn't want to keep doing children's shows. I saw one video, right? And she said she didn't want to keep doing children's shows. Now, no shade with it. A lot of childhood stars and actors, people who blow up when they're really young, a lot of them eventually fade into nothingness so i just think that's the sky jackson effect like no shade the the industry they use you for your youth and then once you get older it's time to go no shade it's time to go so i just feel like Ch sky jackson is an example of them childhood stars who just unfortunately never really made it as an adult but they were making it as a child I just feel like she was set up for success and I feel like there's many opportunities for her to succeed, but she didn't, question mark? I don't know what went wrong. Now, also, what I want to add is that there has been many rumors, okay? And I'm just, I'm here to say this. I don't think Sky Jackson is a nice girl. I think she's a mean girl, okay? I'm talking Gabrielle Union. If you know the, the rumors about Gabrielle Union and how she's bitch, Basically, no shade with it. I saw many rumors about Sky Jackson's nasty attitude. I also think she has a not so great attitude based on all the videos I've seen of her. Um, yeah, so I forgot what exactly it was, but it was this one girl she was friends with, right? It was uh Jordan Woods, the girl that um the girl that kissed Chloe, Chloe Kardashian's boyfriend, Jordan's Jordan Woods' younger sister's best friend, all right? So Jordan Woods' younger sister, I forgot her name, Jody Woods. Her friend, she was her friend, right? Basically, her and Jody Woods ended up falling out. And I think, I think Jordan, her older sister, Jody's older sister, right, ended up exposing the fact that Ice Spice was a mean girl. There was many speculations about Ice Spice being mean. And also her, like, 
kind of competing, being a pick me for with other girls for men. So again, this all goes to say, like, I just don't think she's a good person. So none of this surprises me. What we have to realize is unfortunately the way you came onto the internet is sometimes how you're how you're introduced, right? On the internet, you're either known as a couple things. You're either known as what you were first introduced as. So say I started off as a YouTuber, how I am now, right? Say I started off as a YouTuber and then I go on to do acting and then I go do music, right? And I could be really successful at music and even overshine, outshine my YouTube career. But some people still refer to me, many people still refer to me as a YouTuber because that's what I came on the internet as, right? So you're either known as what you first came on the the um the internet as or you're known as your most highest mainstream successful famous moment right so for example ariana grande she was a childhood actor at first she was on nickelodeon the show victorious but she went on to be a really outstanding successful musician and artist well artist right so she's not really known as an actor ariana grande the actor no she's known as ariana grande the singer Right. So you're either known as those two things. And for many childhood stars, unfortunately, they are known if they don't go on to have a really outstanding career, they're known as what they were first introduced as, which is a childhood star. So a lot of people look at Sky Jackson and they're not able to actually see that this is a grown woman. She's even older than me, y'all. And I'm 19 and she's been grown. OK, but um, yeah. Don't worry, y'all. We about to get into the reading. Actually, I'm gonna put a timestamp so that for those who want to get into the reading, they can get into the reading. So yeah, I think I don't know. I don't think I made a video about it, but I talked about it somewhere, and I was like, yeah, like Sky Jackson's kind of a bitch. No shade, like. And I know what happened to her and Beyonce's son. Look, that is not okay. Nobody deserves to have their nudes exposed. Period. But there has been way too many rumors about her just being nasty to other people, specifically girls. Um. And no shade, like, I feel like her mom set her on the path to success, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, I don't think she was able to break through. Maybe her nasty attitude, like, stopped her from getting, like, these deals, because a lot of people were like, yo, Sky Jackson, like, you was on Jesse and you was on Disney Channel, period, for Matt Long. Why did you never, like, why aren't you one of, you know, a successful actor? Like, what, what is it? I also think it's this. Just because you're on Disney Channel doesn't make you a good actor. Let me just say that. Disney Channel requires very poor acting, like no shade with it, but it's a kid's show, so you don't have to be like super outstanding. But Disney Channel actors are sometimes kind of mediocre, so no shade with it, y'all. Uh, I just, maybe she's just not that much of a talented actor. Like she, I forgot what she was acting in. I think it was... Um, I think it was Little Nas X's little music video, and she did a horrible job. I was like, damn, bitch, I could have done better than that. Like, yes, give us nothing. And it's no shade. I don't have no beef with her, but I just heard rumors about her being a bitch. Um, and I felt like one of the main reasons she's not able to succeed is because maybe she was never really that much of a good actor in the first place. No shade. No shade. Like, I think her cuteness as a child really was the main selling point. Now you're older and it's like, no shade, y'all. She's begging for money on live. Like, no shade. She's begging for money on live. She's like, oh, she's on TikTok live talking about some, let's get to 100K likes, y'all. 100K likes and I'll, I'll follow the person back. And then just a couple months ago sky jackson was in some shit she was being called out for scamming people she was doing one of them cash app scams like oh send in this amount of money and you might win a chance at getting this laptop like them typical ass scams and it's no shade but it's sad to see you know another black girl go down like this but it's like unfortunately sis you never surpassed your your career your acting career your mom set you on the path to success and who knows maybe this is how the cars were meant to fall okay maybe it was just not on her divine path to be a successful actress right again her main selling point as a child was not that she was a really really good actor as a kid she was an exceptional actor she was always exceptional but i think it was just more so the fact that she was really cute she was really cute as a child she has a really beautiful face but I think her attitude 
her attitude so yeah a lot of people this may be shocking for a lot of people like oh my gosh like what girl but sky jackson is a grown woman she's not a child i know we can't see these people outside of what they were introduced as but she is a she's a grown woman y'all and she's about to have a, a kid so i believe it i believe sky jackson was put in her hands and then first of all the boyfriend she has as well i'm like sky jackson don't you have access to like at least some type of elitism in like the industry or at least on the influencer side of things like you could have at least created a really good influencing career like you know what i mean i just felt like sky jackson could do more than where she's at now and it's like you settling for breadcrumbs sis like i don't know what to tell you maybe i also do think it truly is because her attitude i do think sky jackson was low-key a little bit blacklisted because her attitude was really bad but um also she's just not that good of an actor and it's no shade y'all i'm not trying to shade this girl at all but i believe it and yeah the speculation have been around i think she's kind of silently came out and said she was pregnant so we're gonna do a quick tarot reading on all of that you guys let's see what's going on with sky jackson all right so let's get into her current energy now really quick i want to say that because you know somebody else also asked again you know is this right like are you in the right like um to do these readings like why you know reading on these people's energy is it okay let me tell you something we are all connected get this straight listen to me and listen to me clear we are all connected okay even if you feel like yes that person that you don't like that person down the street your nosy ass neighbor okay that friend that did you dirty that nigga that cheated on you we are all connected okay so there technically there is no such thing as not like it's it being wrong i know it feels wrong because it's like an invasion of privacy but let me tell you something if you if if, if that person and you if they don't have a spell you know what i mean some type of magic manipulation of energy that protects and shields their energy or, or if they don't have an entity that is blocking anybody from reading their energy it is 100 percent okay and anytime before i do any readings on anybody let me tell you something i always ask spirit for permission and protection so i know it feels wrong but if you don't want nobody reading on your energy get <laughs> get a deity to protect you okay get some type of entity to protect you or cast some type of magical spell which will take a lot okay we are all interconnected with one another so no it is not wrong to read on energy okay i also do these readings to help everybody okay there is many lessons we could learn from each celebrity right i'm all about learning lessons i'm all about that shit. it's helping you on your spiritual journey that is my thing so i'm not just doing these readings for just shits and shit shits, shits, i'm not just doing these readings for shits and giggles partially it's for shits and shits and giggles but it's also to educate you guys and to break that illusion of celebrities and them living a perfect life, okay? So Sky, Gash, Sky Jackson is going through a lot of emotions, right? I'm getting pregnancy hormones is really affecting her at this time. I think she's like, she has to be on like her second, third trimester because one of her symptoms, and no shade, no shade with it. This is why I don't want to be around any girl that's pregnant and her her pregnancy is like, she turns into very moody. I'm just getting her emotions are very unstable at this time. She's like, very, her emotions are heightened, okay? When you're pregnant, a lot of your senses are heightened. Like for example, a lot of pregnant women, they smell everything, right? Their sense of smell is heightened to an extreme point even sounds they can't listen to too many loud sounds okay certain smells make pregnant women throw up i'm just hearing she's probably in her second to third trimester um there will be a bump like a bump you know what i mean when i say second to form if you don't know what that means um second to third trimester that means the bump is getting there like you know what i mean the bump is starting to show is getting a little big it's not fully big like a third trimester but it's getting to the second trimester. So she's probably in her second trimester and she's going through a lot right now. Like her emotions are all over the place. First of all, the sun card is here. Yes, she's pregnant, right? This represents victory. But as you can see, there's a little child here. Um, They said she's pregnant with a girl. They said she's pregnant with a girl, but I'm seeing she's pregnant with a boy. Do you know, did she release the pregnancy? This Or this could just be a girl that's a, like a tomboy but i'm getting she's pregnant with a son i don't see many feminine traits here like there's not many cards that represent femininity i'm getting a boy 
right? The sun, aka the sun, okay? She, so she's pregnant with a sun. Also, this represents being in the spotlight, but obviously for not the right reasons, right? This is a victory. Now, if she was going viral for something positive, I would say that's what this card is about, but this just talks about her getting attention. Not necessarily in the right ways. The five of cups is here. So this is the loss of an emotional connection. Shit is falling apart. An emotional co connection is slowly but surely breaking down. It's like she didn't want it to end this way. It's This is usually a card that comes out when the person doesn't want their situation to end, but it ended anyways. And it's like, you're just kind of looking back on it. You're looking at it like, damn. Like, did it really have to end? Why did it have to end? This is usually when somebody breaks up with you. So definitely there's trouble in paradise. If it ever was paradise, no shade. Um, Knight of Cups is here. So she's really trying to gain control of her emotions. She's trying to approach the situation in a smart, methodical way. Like, she's really trying to control herself, okay? Trying to contain those emotions. She's feeling very, she's very deeply attached to this person, right? And it's so crazy because she just popped out with her boyfriend like a couple months ago and you're already pregnant. No shade, but it's like, no shade, Sky Jackson, you could have got somebody better. Like, what's going on? But then again, it's like, you attract what you are, so the knight of wands is here so this can explain why she probably put her hands on him again i'm just hearing like her emotions are very heightened around this time so even though i don't like sky jackson i'm hearing that we must give her grace around this time she's pregnant and i feel for all the girls who are pregnant and don't have a stable masculine figure to support them aka you know a faithful man a boyfriend a husband because that's what she, that's what you should really have when you're pregnant um so it's kind of like she's pregnant and she's going through all of these things like she's dealing with this tumultuous ass relationship right so this is her acting without really thinking right you think you speak before you think right you act with no regard so when she was in this moment she was putting his hands on him she oh she let her emotions overcome her and she wasn't necessarily thinking clearly right and we could blame it on the pregnancy that's what i'm hearing because she's never done anything like this before, right? It's the pregnancy, you guys. I'm hearing spirits saying it's the pregnancy, it's the hormones. Her, her hormones are very, like, not out of balance, but they're heightened, okay? All right? Knight of Swords, yep, same thing. Not necessarily thinking clearly, right? Something that happened, something happened between her and her man that caused her to be like, what the fuck? And she flipped out. She flipped out, right? Like, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Like, it's that type of energy. Like, whatever was going on between them, it caused her to be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Like, right now you're serious? Like, I'm not gonna lie, she low-key crashed out. It's given she crashed out. Um, And this has to do with backstab betrayal no shade their speculation that her her baby daddy because they're not married her boyfriend her baby daddy cheated on her and you are very right the five of swords is here and the two of swords is here acting without any regard for your other person right so her boyfriend basically acted out of selfishness um this also has to do with the seven of cups temptation options many options a roster so he cheated on her I would, and if you want to be real with me, if you want to be real with me, I feel like if Sky Jackson found only one girl in his phone, like if she found that he was cheating out with one girl, I would tell her that he would, he, he's been cheating with multiple women, right? When these two cards come out in a relationship and we're talking about cheating, and then this card comes out, this means he's been cheating with multiple women. So if you just found one girl, multiply it by like, <laughs> double it, okay? Multiply it by like five. He's been cheating on her, unfortunately. And yeah, she found out. She made a discovery and she found all of that out, basically, right? And this caused her to feel betrayed, backstabbed. I mean, she's pregnant right now. No shade. And that's why I say I believe in, you know, I believe in the A word. I believe in sending the child back to its wonderful creator, okay? Sending it back to the higher realms because you wouldn't want to bring a child in, into this situation. But I'm also hearing... This history is repeating for her because this is a generational curse, right? No shade, but I've never seen Sky Jackson's father around. And her mom was doing everything for her child on her own is what it looked like. So no shade with it. I'm hearing this is a generational curse that is continuing on. Um, 
just have a little bit of grace for her. Again, I don't like her, but I'm having a bit of grace and the universe is telling me to because she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She just got cheated on. And this is her first child. She's young and she's trying to figure it all out. And so don't be surprised if you see her in the media a bit more often, possibly doing some clout chasing shit, um, sharing a little bit more of her life. Um, there has to be an ego death here. Also, um, this is Leo season. So a lot of things are going to be playing out on the internet. Not just for her, but celebrities, period. Like, don't be surprised if we have more viral moments. It's Leo seasons, and you know Leos like to show out. <laughs> I would know a lot about it. I'm not a Leo, I'm a Gemini, and I'm friends with a lot of Leos. I attract a lot of Leos. Anyways, anyways, back to the point. So yeah, very backstabbed, very portrayed. Like, this was, again, she crashed out. Like, I'm getting this feeling of the world is crashing down. Like, my worst fear, my worst fear. I'm becoming a single, what the... But yeah, this is like, I don't know why I'm hearing like, it's just this feeling of everything's coming crashing down. Like, I can't believe this. Like, I'm going to be a single baby mother. Like, I don't know what she thought was going to happen. They're not married. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just, I don't know. I don't know. We have the seven of pentacles here. She's definitely not happy. Like she's overall just not, she's not satisfied with where she's at in life, right? I'm seeing this really with her career as well. Um, I mean, now she's like a social media, like she's kind of like an influencer, but not really. Um, she's just not happy with where she's at in life, period. But especially with her career, like I'm seeing she wishes, she wishes she was further, right? Further than she is um she's just not happy she's looking back on everything and it's like wow like what am i doing with my life like where's my life going kind of moment she's not satisfied right now um the hangman she's trying to view things from a different perspective she's trying to make the best out of nothing The judgment card is here as well. <laughs> I can't believe I checked that on camera. Anyways, the judgment card is here as what well, is here as well. She feels very like, let me tell you something. She's not happy that this is playing out on social media. She feels very um, what's the word? She feels very judged. I don't know how to say that, like negatively perceived, kind of embarrassed. You know, like she feels everybody's, she feels like everybody's like, wow, like y'all didn't even know, y'all don't even know the full situation. Y'all are just taking one thing and running with it. She definitely doesn't like that this is playing out on social media. She feels very much like kind of exposed, like naked, you know, that naked feeling like you feel exposed, like she feels very exposed. Um, yeah, she's kind of very anxious and anticipating like the reaction of everybody else. And the page is here. The page of swords is here. So she's trying to find inspiration. I'm seeing her really trying to work towards her career again. Because now you have a kid to feed. No shade. You got another mouth to feed. And so it's like, you got to you gotta pump up the gas a little bit. Okay, you got to put in that work to take care of your kid. Four of Wands is here. So yes. Also, it is said that she said that she was engaged, right? Yes, that is true. That is true. I would definitely say that she and this, uh, her baby father got engaged for sure. And the queen of wands is here again. So I'm just hearing very fiery, passionate energy. She does not play. She does not play. And she definitely did not play when she found out that he was cheating or he was doing some backstabbing shit. Um, but most likely it's cheating. Um, I'm just hearing like, wow, like really? Like, are you serious right now? Like, are you being for real? We're engaged. I have your child. Like, wow. And then we have the Ten of Cups. She's really focused on her family. Um, she's also focused on building a family. She's focused on creating a happy home for her child around this time. Now, next question we're going to ask is, how does her mother feel about all of this? Because if y'all don't know, Loki, I used to watch Sky Jackson when she first came on YouTube and shit like that. Um, This was back when, is it raining? Bruh. So 
basically this was when um she first came on youtube and sky jackson's mom was featured on her channel and low-key me and a lot of people peeped that her mom was very controlling very kind of strict like and her mom was very involved in her life like literally she would always post pictures with her mom and it's no shade with it no shade with it that's nice to see a mother and a daughter have such a close connection but low-key i'm not even gonna hold you it's given her mom was riding off her coattails like just very weird energy like her mom is very strict and she was always in her videos and like she would tell her like oh don't do this oh don't do that like very strict energy um i don't know because again i don't know i don't have her on social media i don't know if she still hangs out with her mom or posts pictures with her mom but like they would always be doing stuff together like going to the gym um working out doing cute stuff pilates like they were always together even when sky jackson became an actual grown adult they lived together as well so what does her mom think about all of this what is her opinion how does she feel all right so this is a very dynamic like she has very various feelings about it it's not like black and white it's like very what do you call the word like dynamic so first of all her mom is truly supporting her at this time her mother is her strength that's what i'm hearing like her mother is being strong for her so she how can i explain this it's like this sense of protection like it's still very much giving that's my daughter at the end of the day like it don't matter if i like what she's doing or not i'm gonna still protect her at the end of the day because that's my child that's my daughter right so the strength card is here her mom is here to protect her, okay? Here to be strong for her, here to help her, okay? So, for example, say Sky Jackson gets caught up in the media and people start coming at her for, you know, hitting domestic violence and being pregnant and shit. Her mother is here like, I don't play about my child. Like, they're not going to talk about my daughter like this, right? So, it's still very protective energy, right? Very much, come on, baby. Like, let's go. Keep your head up. Let's go, right? She's being strong for her daughter um the hair font is here so definitely this makes me think that the, her mom is very still and in, much involved in her life and is even involved in her relationship um she is here to draw a boundary right very strict draw a line right i'm hearing like to keep her in check how can i explain this energy again like being a strong pillar like setting foundations for sky jackson so things don't go out of control she's there to obviously protect her child um no shade with it but it seemed like she still inf inf infantilizes infantilizes you know basically babies sky jackson a little bit um she don't play she definitely gets involved in their relationship like i'm pretty sure if they've had an argument before she may have jumped in on their arguments and stuff like that like she gave me those vibes and yeah she's here to i mean look she's very much like giving forceful energy like she's not coming to play she don't play about sky jackson period but this card makes me think in her relationship she's very involved she sets boundaries with sky jackson for sky jackson um she's there to say right from wrong okay this is a traditional authoritative figure um yeah she's just there to guide her as well there's something else but i can't really say, i don't know what to really say else about that card next is the three of swords this situation is very heartbreaking for her i'm just getting the vibe that this is not exactly how i wanted her life to play out right so again there's where this dynamic feeling comes from she feels as though this isn't the most ideal situation like when i was you know doing all that work and bringing you up and putting you on you know to the hollywood industry this isn't necessarily what i wanted but i'm not gonna you know what i mean it's like i'm gonna still support you at the end of the day because you're my child but this isn't how i want so she definitely acknowledged this is not how she wanted sky jackson's life to play out okay um she but she's not gonna shame her daughter publicly and she's not going to abandon her like she's still gonna stick beside her daughter right because i'm hearing that's my daughter okay but also it's like <clears throat> this isn't how this situation was supposed to go this isn't how i wanted it to play out okay so she's very heartbroken for these it's like she feels right she's still very emotionally connected to her daughter let me tell you something the emotional bond between a mother and her child is something that will never be erased unless that mother was never emotionally available to begin with when you bond with a child that bond is for life because that child is literally a part of you 
literally came out the cooch and everything came out your cookie so she feels for her right um next up is the nine of swords and the seven of swords so definitely don't be surprised if you see her mother coming out on social media or doing an interview to defend her daughter she is she's protecting like i think of like a castle and there's guards at the front her mother is that guard at the front right like what's your name what you trying to get into like she's definitely very protective over sky jackson as she should you know and yeah she's feeling very much like don't talk about my child like that keep my child's name out your mouth type energy um the high priestess is here so this makes me think that she's definitely not going to be telling sky jackson's business um she keeps a lot of things private i think she was also probably the one who influenced sky jackson to live a private life like sky jackson doesn't share many many details like she does tend to keep some things private and i think that's where she gets it from she gets it from her mother her mother is very much like put on a good united front don't let them know what's going on at home they don't need to know what's going on at home her mom is very much like no bullshit energy um yeah the ace of pentacles is here something makes me feel like she's gonna turn this into a money opportunity that is one thing i feel like sky jackson's mother is really good at she's really good at turning these like situations into money opportunities she's gonna teach sky jackson how to make a bag off of this you know what like use this attention and let's make a bag let's you know what i mean do something with it because one thing about her she always had her child working god damn sky jackson was doing everything under the sun anyways the queen of cups and the king of cups in here is here um male figure does she have a boyfriend right now like that's another thing too like sky jackson's mother to our knowledge never really had a man like but anyways this also talks about again she's very emotional for her child i think she also really wants to be there because sky jackson's about to give birth to her grandchild you know what i mean so obviously this is a big moment for her um but yeah it's like i didn't necessarily want things to play out this way for my child but i'ma still stick beside my daughter the queen of cups is here so both her and sky jackson are focused on having a ha happy healthy family um to bring this child into they're really focused on you know emotionally keeping things okay and basically keeping a family together the six is the six of wands so she'll definitely be there to celebrate sky jackson in public um but yeah she'll support sky jackson in public but deep down it's like like i'm not the i'm not the proudest that you ended up this way very dynamic energy and the three of wands is like chow anyways like let's move on like she truly just wants to move on from this situation queen of swords yep no bullshit she's ready she's ready to argue let me just tell you that whoever got something negative to say about sky jackson she's ready to argue yep the the moon card is here this makes me think there's something else that we don't know um many secrets that she will not be revealing she's a very secretive person something she may know about sky jackson yeah two of pentacles money ain't straight at home they're definitely going to be clout chasing off this situation yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm all right y'all last but not least let's ask how does her man feel about her now her baby father let me see his real name because y'all know names are important um i know y'all like girl why don't you search her mom name her mom is connected to her so it's easy to get into her energy once i get into sky jackson's energy her mom is very connected to her emotionally so if you get it you get it okay for those who get it you get it but let me see her boyfriend's name all right y'all so unfortunately i cannot find her baby father's name for the life of me i'm pretty sure if i did a bit more digging like on some fbi shit i could find his name but girl all we need is his energy at this point she's carrying his child so it won't be that hard anyways um how does he feel about her he feels many things again very dynamic situation this isn't black and white um the tower card cats out the bag shit's crashing down he definitely feels like they had a cannon event this is a tower moment they're currently going through shit is falling down shit is crushing down okay their foundation is no longer strong as it was before because cats out the bag you know she found out she cheated you know and it is what it is right so the knight of cups is also here again he's trying to approach the situation slowly um more maturely and he's being very smart very cautious about how he approaches the situation with 
um, Sky Jackson, his feelings for her. He definitely feels for her. Unfortunately, let me tell you something. I don't think they're meant to be together. This is not her life partner. It's not. And it's nothing new. Like, a lot of people, Empress Card came out, yep, a lot of people get into relationships and have children with people they're not meant to be with so there's nothing new about that but i'm not getting this is the end all be all okay they do have the potential to start a family together right to create a nice family unit but it's not gonna last for long at some point they're gonna have to move on from each other right honestly i don't think she's meant to be whatever not my not my not my thing um yeah so this tower moment and him approaching his feelings it is all based around this energy of him cheating okay so even in his energy he acknowledges that he has he fucked up not even fucked up he's just like he's he, first of all first of all the king of wands came out to re represent him right he's the only male in the situation um king of wands is a man with a wandering eye okay messaging girls on instagram going on dating apps um walking past the street you staring at a girl fat ass um a girl ask you, you at a bar, you hitting on all these girls, and then you know what I mean? They ask you, do you have a do you have a girlfriend? You know what I mean? And you're lying, saying, No, I'm single. That is this energy, right? He has he he has many options he's exploring at this moment. And he cheated on her with multiple girls. Like I said, if she only found one girl, I would strongly like tell her it's more than one. It's more than one right with the seven of cups is here he acknowledges that yes he has a roster he's the king of wands and he has a roster he's cheated on her with many girls the reason why i don't know because he does like her he do like her and also i would also tell sky jackson if i if this is a reading from her we're gonna do like another celebrity reading and pretending as though i was giving this celebrity a reading anyways the six of cups is here I also think he's cheated on her with somebody that he's known from the past, maybe an ex, somebody he's previously dated or just simply talked to or fucked before. Um, if there's a girl he told her not to worry about, she, sh she should have been worried about that girl because he was definitely talking to that girl, somebody from his past. Two of Cups, yep. Again, I don't think he's dating anybody else. Like, it's not giving I'm in a secret relationship but it's giving I do talk to other women on the side, right? Nothing serious, not an actual relationship, but he do talk to women on the side. Honestly, in both their cards, there's like only in Sky Jackson's card, there's an acknowledgement of their relationship. With him, it's more so like, I don't know. Five of Cups, this relationship could be draining for them. They're both not doing well in this relationship. Probably both struggling with money. None, of, Like I'm hearing he has some money, He's definitely not broke. Let me say that. He's not broke, but does he have enough money to take care of a child, be a father, and support Sky Jackson? I'm not sure. I think if anything, I don't know why I'm hearing this, Sky Jackson may be the breadwinner in their, you know, union, but the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is here. They could have opportunity to make money together. Um, something about abundance together, finances together. The Ten of Pentacles is here. So yes, he does acknowledge that he wants a family unit with her. He definitely wants to start a family. He wants to have a happy family with her. It's just this energy of he can't stay faithful. Typical fuckboy shit. And it's no real, like there's no real explanation. Like if she was to ask him, why did you cheat? Why did you do this? I don't think he would be able to give her an actual explanation. The High Priestess is here. There are definitely some things that are still hidden that he has not revealed, okay? Um... The sun is here. So the sun came out for both of them. They definitely have a child and I'm getting it. I don't know why I'm getting a son. I don't know if she revealed the gender y'all. Let me know, but it's giving a actual son. They're having a, a boy. That's my, that's my prediction. Okay. Let me know if I'm wrong. Nine of pentacles is here. So money, a fi finances, abundance. This came out for how he feel about her. Um, the emperor is here, so he could be a bit older than her, or just, you know, he dominates her masculine-wise. Um, so she definitely doesn't wear the pants in their relationship, but, yeah, he's dominant. Uh, the judgment card is here, yep, everything playing out on social media, but the two of wands is also here, y'all. He's looking out at other options. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't see them lasting. Even if they decide to stay together, I don't see them lasting for, like, more than five years. The Knight of Wands is here. Yup, thinking without cur without correctly thinking it through. I mean, doing things without correctly thinking it through. And the Knight of Wands, this energy makes him stressed. 
He's definitely stressed out. I'm just hearing stressed, anxious, um, sad, stressed, and anxious because she found out. She found out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's his energy, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Overall, prayers up to Sky Jackson, even though I don't really like her like that. Nobody deserves to be pregnant and being cheated on. Like, nobody deserves all that. So shout outs to her. Um, and yeah, that's my opinion. And I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I'll see y'all on the next one. Mwah.